Aqua Group is a 60 year old organization. Uh, we are a leading uh, manufacturer of uh, irrigation and domestic pumps in India. Uh, we cater to markets like uh, irrigation and domestic. So our foundry is a part of the group which is feeding the uh, main unit. We manufacture uh, castings for pumps mainly. Uh, then our foundry is about uh, 40 years old. Uh, our association with uh, DISA is uh, more than uh, 30 years old. Uh, initially, we put up a couple of ARPA machines to manufacture pump castings. Uh, over a period of time, when the time goes on, the need for uh, improvement in quality and surface finish has come. So that has necessitated us to go for more automation with the aim of increasing the productivity and quality uh, and also to reduce the cost. Uh, so with that aim, in the year 2008, we have put up a DISA Flux 70 line uh, to capture uh, the, our pump requirements, uh, which was going on well. Uh, Aqua always wanting to improve its uh, infrastructure and facilities to the world class in order to have a better work life and safety of our employees to meet uh, global competition and exceed uh, environmental expectations uh, and also to reduce cost wherever possible. With the aim of that, we have installed a complete foundry solution uh, in 2014, which including uh, DISA MATCH 24-28 uh, horizontal flaskless molding line uh, with a completely automated uh, lines including start knockout and a online start blasting machine uh, and uh, which also includes uh, the varieties of uh, dust collectors. The current uh, design match 24-28 line produces about 600 to 700 tons of uh, cast good castings every month which includes uh, many critical castings like motor bodies and in the year 2016 we wanted to uh, upgrade our uh, or replace all our ARPA lines into a latest technology. So with that uh, the obvious choice was for us is to go for a DISA-MATIC line. So when we had a discussions with the DISA and it was desired to go with the DISA-MATIC C3 line uh, which can produce about 250 moles per hour. This automatic line can produce about 1000 tons per month. The obvious uh, objectives for the line was to uh, replace the existing ARPA line and uh, increase the productivity uh, in terms of manpower, in terms of uh, space utilization and reduce the cost and uh, also to increase the quality. So the line was installed in a very uh, record time of within six months from the date of order and uh, this is running well now. Uh, I am happy to share that uh, so we are able to reach the uh, objectives which we have preset for us which includes uh, reduction in uh, sand consumption and uh, increased yield. The newly installed uh, Dizomatic line is uh, completely state of the art facility uh, and completely automated. Uh, this uh, with the installation of this line now we are able to uh, ship the castings within 12 hours from the in a by purchase of scrap so i feel in, for indian foundries it's a landmark and we are we will be achieving this with uh, uh, 30 people so we will be reaching a per ton tonnage of 30 tons per head per month so we feel this is one of the this also one of the benchmark for foundries. Uh, today, the problems faced by Indian foundries are uh, lack of skilled manpower, uh, environmental issues, uh, low volume of operation, uh, lower productivity. Uh, for those foundrymen who wants to uh, really come out of this problem and becoming a world class, uh, my sincere advice is to go for. 
complete automated uh, solutions like uh, what we have our vision is to provide the best available work environment work environment for our people which will make them proud of working in the foundry with the help of the series of dust collectors from disa we are steps closer to that target uh, our foundry is as good as or even better than uh, some of our machine shops i can proudly say that our skill attrition rate in our foundry is almost zero